Hello guys, Awakening Animations here and I'm just going to try and give you guys a quick tutorial here. Um, for any of you guys who tried to texture paint within Blender um, might have failed really badly just like I did many times. Um, and maybe some of you guys thought well let's try painting vertex and using the vertex colors within the node editor to create your materials and you would have learned that even Blender's vertex painting was terrible um, but luckily since Blender 2.79b I think the texture painting is pretty much the same but the vertex painting has gotten much much better so yeah I'm gonna give you guys an example of that um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just select an island here that I want to paint. Um, let's isolate it quickly. It should isolate. Let's hide all of that then. Let's select this again. Uh, okay, that's fine. And let's unhide everything. Just select that piece again and um, I want to deselect this piece sorry I'm really gonna try and keep this as short as possible but I don't want this part selected um, let's for now just keep all of that the same then let's go back into object mode and go to vertex paint okay and with vertex paint you just select this box here and you'll only paint the part you selected in edit mode which is great so let's bring up our tools here we've got the brush um, I always create a palette so um, let's just make this part blue something like that and I'm gonna create a palette and select the plus sign I usually forget that so don't forget that um, then when you go to your second color you realize you lost your first one okay so let's change this to add since I've got the draw brush here um, strength is on one that's what I want and let's just yeah what happened I deselected it um, So it should be on mix actually. So there should be a way that I can fool this. Doesn't seem like there is. So uh, anyway, big brush. Uh, I'm pressing Z and it should paint right through. Okay, wait, let's try it like that. Still not painting right through. Okay. That's quite sad. There has to be a way to paint through here. Um, options. Uh, okay, so sorry for my stupidity, but yeah, uh, there has to be a way to paint right through. So let's just go into edit mode here, um, control I, H, select that again, there we go. Okay, so it seems like everything is painted. Let's go into object mode. And um, I'm just going to paint another one here, but first I want to name this um, chest uh, and just make sure you add blue because this is just for the color, but you can go and um, paint it completely black and then go and paint like with white and gray 
value some scratches use a texture and then you can use that as your bump map or uh, where with your boss map or you see what I mean afterwards you can um, duplicate that one and just add some other texture on top of it and use it as a roughness map or something like that as well so I'm just doing the really basic thing here but just know you can create all of these maps here just name them and in the node editor you'll be able to um, bring those out and use them as um, faculties or masks or just as a color node actually okay so let's hide um, let's put this one on here and let's name this um, hips and I don't know um, let's just make it something crazy green and then we go into edit mode first bring all of this back let's just do this part here like that um, go into let's explain and there we go maybe we can once again hide the rest here and go back into paint here we're gonna maybe just make a saturated desaturated sorry green a little bit darker more desaturated make it as a another one on your color palette and then just paint it in so I know this is painting like um, blocky and stuff which in other programs it won't but this is vertex painting so it all depends on the resolution of your mesh so um, if this was UV unwrapped which it isn't um, because I just made basic materials for it um, then you could um, create a duplicate with the same UVs um, apply your subdivision surface on a highest level and then do all your vertex color painting on that and bake the textures onto the UV from the node editor or bake your vertex colors and the way you do that is yeah I'll show you later quickly so let's just finish this up okay and so now we go into the shader here well that's just a um, custom UI I created I'm gonna create a material and we've got two okay, cool. so we've got two um, vertex colors to use so um, I think attributes and here you just get the name of your vertex color so just well, let's start with the blue copy that and just paste it here the way you wrote it before needs to be exactly the same here and if I do this now you'll see that we've got the paint on there and all we need to do is duplicate this and um, bring in this one's name uh, over here bring in a mix color or mix RGB So obvious, sorry, I'm not the best with nodes, so mix and faculty of one works perfectly. And yeah, so obviously now we can replace this with a, um, 
principal trader and you can give this metallic features if you wanted to um, or you could have your metallic base and add this as a paint on top with another principal shader um, so we can take metallic down maybe give it less roughness so 0.1 maybe make it like a more shiny thing and uh, like I said you could um, create more maps for uh, height or normal maps bump maps and things like that and just to show you guys my other example if we subdivide I'm sorry I wanted to add more there if we add more subdivisions here let's go something crazy three and apply that then I have quite a dense mesh now so maybe that was unnecessary just two should be fine and now we can go and do the same thing but you'll have more control when you're painting so let's say we want this thing to be multicolored we can hide everything else just select that go into vertex paint make the brush smaller just give this another color here maybe make it crazy red and now you can have a bit more control of your painting and as you can see it's it's a much better way of painting okay, and I just need to select this okay select it again okay it's going to edit mode crazy yeah and now we'll rotate around this so now we can go back to other colors and kind of bring them in here um, you know just do all sorts of things so there's still some problems here but it's not nearly as bad as what it was before so yeah do that then you can go and bring in the blur brush and kind of smooth your colors in here or take the um, no, sorry I thought there was a smudge brush too but it seems like that's what the blur is so you just pull from one side to the other to kind of blend your colors in nicely blow out these funny edges and there we go we got another vertex color here to use in fact I think I might have painted it on an existing one so it's already going to be there object mode, uh, material mode yeah so there we go it's already on um, I think the hips one so there we go I hope that helps most of you guys with some texturing problems because really it's just as um, any other software there's just a few more steps you need to do but you can really paint detailed things like that and then just use it as maps in the node editor